one of the most important things to understand about behavior is we always act on uh, on a basis of needs and fears so whether it's like you're brushing your teeth you want to brush your teeth so you feel confident you've got great breath you also want to avoid that horrible dentist bill you know <laughs> <laughs> or people you know being socially you know excommunicated out of uh, the social circles so we need to understand and this is going to be individual to every narcissist as well what is the thing that they're actually prioritizing? How do they want to be seen? And how can you talk to that identity? And what's the things that they're actually fearing? Are they fearing being seen? Are they fearing everyone seeing through the, the narcissistic mask? Are they looking to have more status and have more power? And you can kind of, if you're looking to, if you're talking to someone who's highly controlling and, and is looking for that power well you can kind of talk to that covertly by saying well everyone knows the most powerful people or the most successful people will actually act in this manner <laughs> so you start actually diverting and covertly diverting that behavior for them to act in a certain way and also you know depending on how confrontation it can get you can start playing on those fears as well and sort of saying, look, everyone's starting to see through actually who you actually are. And that can be terrifying for a narcissist. <laughs> it's difficult to go to a peer group who that person might be in and say anything bad about that person, because usually the trap has been laid that you were the toxic one. And if you say anything, it's an example of, see, I told you that this person is the bad apple here. So what I had found is to just make that peer group aware of behaviors. So you don't say anything bad about them. You just go, oh, that's interesting. Did you notice blah, blah, blah. And that's it. You don't dive into it. You don't say anything about it. You just make it aware. And then the peer group is like, oh, I did notice some drama on, on blah, blah, blah. Okay. And, but this is a long game. And then again, because these patterns will continue to show themselves. So again, you go, oh, did you notice so-and-so blah, blah, blah. Oh, you know, I did notice that. That's funny. I, it's almost like a pattern with this person. Let the peer group then become aware of conscious that these patterns are developing. And then you'll start to see people starting to back away. Uh, that has been the most effective I found because anything about going on the offensive or attack only works against you, usually because the trap has already been laid. If they know that they're gaslighting you, they know eventually you're going to lash out. So they've already prepared people for you to lash out.